Hi, I'm Jill with journeywithjill.net and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to hang up and cure your garlic in your garage. What I use is a section of fencing and you'll see how I do it really quickly and I'm able to get my garlic uh, dried and cured in three to four weeks. For the most part, each garlic bulb will go through one of these chain links, but some of your garlic bulbs will be a little bit too small, and if you notice, you'll put them through and they'll go right through to the bottom, and all you have to do in that case is just to take two garlic bulbs that are a little bit smaller, and then you put them together in the same little diamond shape, so I'll show you how I do that. Each of these garlic bulbs is going to go right through the fencing, but if I put them together kind of like this then they'll have enough um, greenery here, foliage, to be able to stay in place. When I turn this around, you can see what it looks like with all the garlic bulbs here on the other side of the fencing. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're curing your garlic is you need to have a lot of air circulation, and this will enable the outsides to dry out and to be able to promote longer storage. So if you turn your fence around and you notice that some of these are really close together, then all you'll need to do is just take the ones that are close, just pull them out, and just find another place for them. So I will just take this one and put it back there and you can see it's a little bit, got a little bit more space in between. And I'm gonna have to do that for some of these here too. Now another thing that I make sure and do is I will put a fan over here just to make sure that there's a lot of air ventilation, especially if it's gonna be in a hot garage like this is gonna be. And it'll take three to four weeks for this garlic to cure. Another thing that I'm able to do is I can use this with my onions as well. So I'm getting ready to put my onions on this other side of the fence and that way both my garlic and my onions are able to cure in a shaded location, in a well-ventilated location, and hopefully I'll have enough garlic and onions to last me several months. I'm Jill with journeywithjill.net, and if you found this tip helpful, just thumbs up this video, subscribe to future videos, and check out some of my other garden tips at journeywithjill.net. I also have a podcast called The Beginner's Garden Podcast, so you'll find lots of other tips when it comes to gardening tips for beginning gardeners especially. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful garden season.